Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and Luna. And I have a Timu haul for you today. Now, um, I will say this is a sponsored video, but the opinions are my own. There is a 30% discount for new Timu shoppers in my description box below. Definitely check that out. And everything I'm showing you will have a link below to that specific item if it's not sold out. Let's get into it. Not a huge haul, but some cute stuff. Um, I got this shirt. I love it. It is definitely, I would say more of a nylon and less of a cotton. There's no cotton, I don't think, in this shirt. Let me see if I can find the tag. Sometimes there's no tags. 65% cotton lies, Lori. 65% cotton, 35% polyester. So it's got a nice shine to it and the stars on it. I love it. And honestly, I think I'm going to get some navy blue shorts and use it as like a lounge set for like, you know, around the house or if I'm traveling or visiting folks. Oh, sorry. I just elbowed her. Um, so I love it. And it is true to size. I am an 1820. I got a 3X. That's their 1820 and it fits. So there's that. Um, there's this shirt here, which I like, but it's a little itchy on the inside. So we're going to see this may end up getting donated. I don't, I don't love the fabric, but I loved the design and there's some, um, a little button detail here. Um, again, true to size. I'm an 1820. This fit me. It's 95% polyester. It's just a little rough for my liking, but it's a cute shirt and it has a nice shape to it. So if you liked it and you could wear a t-shirt under it or like a tank top or something. So I have that shirt, which I like. Now I reordered this. I got it in the purple before and I went down to my size in this shirt and it's too tight for me in the shoulders. That's a me thing, not a shirt thing. I love this shirt. I have the purple, like I said, and I've worn it multiple times already. But I love these little buttons and the little faux pocket detail. So yeah, it's a very adorable t-shirt. It's very comfortable and it washed up really well. Like I said, it's just a weird fitting for me. I'm kind of broad in the shoulders, <laughs> as you can see. And so not all, you know, not all shirts fit everybody. So there's that. Then I went on a little bit of a sock buying binge, I feel like. I got a 10 pack of these socks. So if you've watched my other videos, I've been ordering socks because I cannot stand my socks to go down in my shoe. And a lot of my no-show socks, the heel slides right down in my shoe and I can't stand it. So I got these to try and I like them. I wore a pair already. And what I like for summer is they're nice and thin. Um, so they'll go in all my little shoes. And this is a 10 pack. And look at all the colors that you get. I mean, there are, it's like a muted rainbow, which I love. Um, and I wore, I don't remember what color I wore, but yeah, I wore them. It was like a beigey color, I think. I wore them and they worked out well and they, they washed up well and I will wear them again. And there's a nice stretch. And for the price, if I get a summer out of them, that's all that I care about. So I got a 10 pack of colored socks. I am going to be buying some of the Bombas, B-O-M-B-A-S, uh, Merino wool for some of my travels this summer and next, but those are not inexpensive. But Merino wool is micro antimicrobial, so you can wear them multiple times and not have to wash them every time. Thought I would throw that out there. Yes, I get these bags. Um, I am assuming that people who have YouTube channels and promote their pro their brand get these these bags they're fine they do have holes in them i mean i don't know i feel like i'm wasteful because i don't have a need for them i don't do anything with them um and the other thing i picked up were these socks um this pack doesn't look quite as quality as the other i'm not saying they're bad socks but these were white with cats. I have not worn them yet to see if this will indeed stay up on my heel. This shape, because it's kind of short, but we'll see. So these have little pink cats <laughs> and little cats on the 
on the toe. If I can show you. It's like oh, it's kind of hard to show if I'm not wearing it, but there's a cat head. And I love these because honestly, what you're gonna see is the top, and you know, a white sock is perfect. Um, they're calling this a cat. I'm calling this a bunny, which either way, I don't care. But I'm pretty sure that's an Easter bunny or a bunny. Yeah, that's a bunny. So they have bunny socks, a, pa a pair with bunnies within the pink and white. And then look at these. Oh my gosh. And they have on the top the little ears and the nose and mouth and the whiskers. And that is navy blue. I love a navy blue and pink. And navy blue and green is coming back and I'm dying off about it. I love it. So I grabbed and that came with that pair. So I have a ton of socks from this. Kind of, oh, this came with two pair. One with the stripes but the same little ears. Well, I guess that's a different, a different nose and mouth. Maybe this is a bunny. I don't, I don't understand the, it's a, I mean, it's kind of bunched in the back here, kids. I'm not sure what the ears are. The situation is with these ears on this pair, but cute. So we'll try these and see how they work. I figured the only way I'm gonna know is by trying different styles and see which ones don't fall into my shoes. Because I can't. It drives me nuts. I'm going to show you the big stuff and then we'll get into the little stuff. This, they're calling it a veggie cutter. I'm calling it a cheese grater. Because it can do all the things. Um, so if you're not aware, A, sure the cheese is more expensive. But more importantly, um... Shredded cheese also has starch in it to keep it from sticking together. So you're getting carbohydrates. So, oh my gosh, you know what this reminds me of? 100% when I was a child, the Snoopy Snow Cone Maker. Do you remember that? I'm trying to see if I can lock this on here. Is that going the right way? I don't know. Hello? Well, I'm sure there's directions to help me, to help a sister out. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I gotta push this all the way in. And then, there we go. I got it, it just took a second. Okay, so, I mean, it's so basic, but so fun. So you get, in here you have your bottom, which you can turn this piece and it will mat it will like suction it to your counter and it's a good rubber gripper. And then you have your handle back here. You just crank it. I mean, it's so manual. And then in here, you have two sets of blades that pop out and you have replacement blades depending on what size grate you want. And I'm not gonna tell you what's not gonna happen is I'm not gonna end up in the emergency room like I did with my mandolin. And then you put your whatever cheese, block cheese for me in here and you crank it and it spits it out the front and you put a bowl under it. Like how basic is that, but functional. And this is a, hi, exactly what I needed to grind cheese or to shred cheese. And I can get any, sh on any shape shred I want, like thicker, thinner slices, whatever. And plus you can do other vegetables. Oh, it would be great to um, cauliflower. But the good thing is I don't have to get out my huge, um, I'm just gonna, and this is all unscrews. My food processor, that's a mess, that's big. And if you want to change out your, I bet you I can do ice in here too and make snow cones. I'm trying to, oh, what's happening? Oh, cleaning brush. I was like, why isn't that going in there? Um, and it comes with a little cleaning brush to clean this. But you have these, right? And you push them out. And then they have a whole two other sizes. So a larger shred and then a slice. And then when you're ready, which I like that it doesn't pop out the other direction. And then when you want, you can take them out to clean them. Use your little brush to get in there so you're not cutting your fingers. Trust me, I know these things. I ended up with emergency room visit from my mandolin. 
and that goes in there. I bet you I can do ice. We're gonna try it. And then it just stores away just like that. Oh, how fun, I love this. I'm super excited for the summertime. Can you imagine all the zucchinis I can cut up and the fresh stuff? And then it just stays, but it can also do, I'm sure anything, anything you can do on a cheese grater, you can do in here. I know, I love it. Um, here's something else kind of large that I received. It's a shoe rack, guys. What? It comes packaged. This is like fabric. This is going to fit at my front door because I, I don't like wearing shoes in the house. So I have a, like a boot catcher where I drop my shoes, but I always have way too many. And I can sit this right inside and then stack up my shoes before I put them away. And I thought, this is great. But they also use it, they're showing it for other things like toys, you can do um, bowls, any kind of storage. You can stack up on there. It's not overly, it's only about that deep, but it will hold my shoes and that will make me very happy right? Because they're all over the front, my front door. I probably have 10 pair over there right now. So really what I need to do is put them away, but let's not, let's not worry about putting things away. Um, I grabbed this for the boys. It's a, it's a pet bed, right? Um, and it's not even a particularly thick one, which is fine. I have in my office, a TV cart turned to a printer cart. And on the top, I keep a bed and some blankets because it's right in front of the window and the boys lay on it and they needed something fresh. And I feel like I could throw this in the washing machine when it gets fur covered and they don't care that there's bones on it. They don't care. I won't tell them what that means, but it was nice and big size and I like it and it's soft for them. So I will put that in the window. It'll fit perfectly on that um, cart. And it just makes it softer for them because they love to sit up there and watch the birds in the backyard. All right, here we go. We have got all kinds of stuff. Some little stuff. Um, I tried to open most of it. Clearly, I missed a few. But I thought this was adorable. It's just a little Easter gnome. Just a little spring gnome, but I thought it was adorable. And the fabric is really bizarre, not gonna lie. And it has a, it's a sitter, but it's super cute. I love it. And his little or her, you know, I never know. He, she, doesn't matter to me. But I got a little Easter gnome, which I thought would be adorable to sit in like a tiered tray or something. I picked up these for Sarah and I. All right, so what this is, it's a portable bag. What? I know, right? You pull this out. I just think it's so interesting. Ooh, that's not a fun noise at all. And then if you get stuck, it has a handle. Okay, so you open it up. Now here's what I find interesting. I guess, I don't know what we do with that end, but... I think what I would, would do, but what's weird to me is this is how it comes out, right? I guess, would that fit in there? Yeah, okay. So that can go in this little mesh thing. To me, I would just flip it inside out, but it is a travel bag. Like, grocery shopping. Whatever, and it's a pretty decent size one too, right? Oh, I love it. So you use it for travel. Then when you've, you're you ready to not use it for the day or whatever, you crank it and it sucks it back up into this plastic. I, I mean, is it fun? Yes. Do I think it's functional and practical? No. There's so many better designs, but I just thought it was fun to try. And it came in a two pack. So, and then, oh, this little, I gotta get that up out of here. This will, so you can hook it places or not. And I feel like also you could just cut off this plastic thing if you didn't love this. But I thought it was super cute. Um, so I got Sarah one in pink 
And I got myself one in black with orange. And I'll probably give it to my cousins. They'll like it. They travel all the time. But I just thought it was super fun. And it's a big bag. But again, do I think it's practical? No. But is it fun? Um, yes. Speaking of fun, I got this kalimba, it's called. I did not put it together, but I did take it out and play with it for a second. And it does come with, uh, you wear it around your neck. It is a musical instrument. It has all the directions, and then there's a song on the back. And I actually have something very similar, but it's in a gourd. But it's a little musical instrument that you play with your fingers. And each piece of metal represents a different note. And I will tell you, I've had this one at my house hanging. Um, I don't know how to put this on here, but I'm sure it will give me directions. But I've had one of these hanging at my front door for a long time. It's the eight tone thumb piano for musical enlightenment. It is suitable for beginner musicians. It's engraved with notes such as one, two, three. The sharp nail can make a nice sound. Although the actual pitch is not up to the standard, it's definitely relaxing, entertaining, and doesn't require any major, major musical talent. So you just, and you just pluck it with your thumb. How fun is that? I just thought it was a lot of fun. I will tell you, like I was saying, I've had one hanging at my house on my key. Um, where you walk in my front door, I have a key hook and the kids, everybody stops and plays with it. So I thought we, we, it needs a friend. So I grabbed another one. So there will be two hanging up there. Uh, what is this? Oh, I'm excited for this. This is a hand warmer. So, you know, I work football and I'm outdoors in the winter time and you charge it. You keep it in your pocket, around your wrist, whatever. And it's a hand warmer. When your hands get cold, it warms up. So that's the button right there. And look how cute it is. Are there other ones? Sure. Do I think this one is freaking adorable? I sure do. So, and it comes with its own little charger. So I will charge this up and we will see. I'm sure it works. I've not had anything not work yet. I can tell you that that I've gotten. I've had things that maybe the quality wasn't the best, but you charge it up, carry it in your pocket. And if your hands get cold, you just turn it on and then you hold it in your hands and it warms up. And it's a cat paw. And there's a cat inside. I mean, come on, who doesn't need one of these, right? I wonder if I, if it was just, I don't know. I was seeing if it started to feel warm. I'm not sure how to tell if it's turned on yet. I'm assuming something lights up inside. It's not charged. It's not charged, guys. Oh, this is exciting. Look at these fun little wooden buttons. They're all like painted. And I thought these would be so fun for crafting. And they're thin. So I don't know that I would use them for clothing, but they're definitely great for crafting and attaching to things to give yourself some texture and design all right and you get a lot in here and they're wood so if you want the plain side you want to paint in a solid color you could totally do that or you can use the side that has more of the boho designs so i grabbed one of that packages all right let's get everything up out of here i picked up one of these it's 50 pieces of fabric cut into squares that you can make a patchwork quilt out of so we may try that um you know i don't love the fabrics i think i mentioned in the other video it's very rough it's not quilters quality i can tell you that but for practicing or quilt you know if you're going to do a, a different kind of a quilt like, I make quilts for the cats. I say quilts. I use that very loosely. I sew them blankets. And, you know, that would be perfectly fine for them. They wouldn't care. You know, 
if it's a little rough and I can just keep washing it. I don't know that I would use it for human showers, you know, human clothing. Um, if you saw my other video, I grabbed a food saver and it works perfectly. I've had no trouble with it. I've used it multiple times. Um, so I grabbed some more bags to go with that. So this is the ones that I make, you make your own and it's food quality, food, food safe. So you pull out what you want, you seal the bottom and then you suck the air and seal the top. So you can make your own bags, whatever size it is that you need. So I just grab a two pack of those pretty um, innocuous, you know, a necessity in life. Um, I had given these to Sarah and I liked them so much. I got myself a set. So they come in a little plastic container and they're just powder puffs for your face. But I was using one of them. I tried one and I used it for, um, like a, a beauty blender and it worked really well. And I liked the shape and the design and it, you know, it worked just like a blender, but I feel like I had a little more control of where it goes because I can use the little handle. So I grabbed a pack for my sale. If you do get, oh, I dog. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, that was Alex. You get a triangular one to do powder under your eye. It's all right, Alex. These, these animals have gone bonkers today. And I like that they come in their own little container. Uh, two more things. This is, and I haven't tried it, it's an anti-loss theft device. So it's supposed to act like an air tag. And you put it in your whatever, hook it to something, put it in something. Um, okay, so it has a key ring attachment. So you can, oops. You can put it on a key ring and it's just a little, like a tile. And then it says you have to download an app. In order to use the product, your device will need both of the following, uh, Bluetooth and ISO, Android or ISO. You download the app, you power on, and it will track it. Now, how long, I mean, I don't, it doesn't seem to have a charging device or anything in here, so I don't know. I'll have to do some research on this, but if it works as well as an Apple AirTag, that's pretty cool. You know, I don't know. I don't know that answer, so I'm gonna have to figure it out, but you just put it on a key ring. Now, that's weird. The key ring doesn't really fit, <laughs> but. It's okay. If I'm just sliding this in some luggage, it's weird because the key ring is a little big. It doesn't, it fits. It just doesn't freely float around on it, which I find bizarre, but it, what, who am I? Who am I? Anyway, so it can, I got a couple of them to try in my luggage. So I'm going to put it in here for now. And I guess I'm downloading an app and we're gonna see if that works for my travels, guys. I've got a mess in my living room. All right, last thing I got is a stylus pen. It's supposed to work with an iPad. It is magnetic, iPad Air, fourth, iPad Pro, iPad Pro. I'm not sure. I don't even have an iPad yet, but I'm getting one shortly. I'm gonna be ordering one soon. And I'm ordering the iPencil, but if this works as a backup, you know, that's pretty cool. So what it comes with is a charger. And if you're not familiar, these can write on your iPads. So it does have a power button, or I'm sorry, that's the charging where the charger goes in. Where did that little field go? Oh, here it is. Um, so the difference would be your Apple one, I believe charges by laying on your iPad. I'm pretty sure. But anyway, there's your little charging device. You have a nib and it comes with an extra nib. So if you, maybe one is more pointy or smaller than the other, or they're the same, I'm not sure. But you get a nib for it. And this makes it so you can write on your iPad. 
Um, we do have directions and we have a type C charger. So we'll see how this works. I'm going to be ordering my iPad soon. And like I said, it would be nice to have a backup. Like maybe I wouldn't want to leave the house with my Apple pencil if this one works just as good. But it was off. It was an offering, and I said, "Well, let's try because I will be getting a new iPad. I have been needing one for a while. My current one won't hold a charge any longer, so it's just called a stylist pen." And that is everything I got from Timu this time around. I hope you enjoy, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and check down below for the discount code and links to any of my products that I reviewed today. And I will talk with you later. Bye.